Hey everybody, today we're going to understand uninitialized variables. When JavaScript variables are declared, they have an initial value of undefined. If you do a mathematical operation on an undefined variable, you will get the result uh, capital N, lowercase a, capital N, which means, which I always say nan when I, uh, I'm reading it, which means not a number. If you con concatenate a string with undefined variable, then uh, you will get a literal string of undefined. So let's say, what does that mean? Console.log. So I'm just going to, this just means I'm going to print out to here um, something. And so let's just say an undefined variable. And so right now, um, what happens? It doesn't print out anything. Interesting. If I open up terminal and I go to node. Yeah, okay, interesting. So if you try to print out a variable that's not defined, it doesn't do anything. It gives you this error of reference error, which means it's uh, not defined. Reference error is very common. That just means that your variable is not being found. Um, so they say that if you do do a math, oh, if you do a mathematical operation, so if we do this plus one, um, hmm, still doesn't do anything. What happens if we go into node? Um, if we go to undef plus one, so what I'm doing here is I'm going into what's called a, a REPL, and this is node is a REPL, uh, which, uh, again, it just gives me a reference error. So I'm not really sure that this is right. If you do a mathematical operation on an undefined variable, the result will be NAN. That's not actually true. Interesting. If you concatenate a string with an undefined variable, you will get a literal string undefined. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, concat. <clears throat> if we concat with A... It should print out undefined. Huh. What happens if we take it to the REPL? Again, reference error. So this is actually just not very accurate, the way that they're describing this. Initialize three variables, A, B, and C, with 5, 10, and I, M, A, respectively, and they will be, uh, not be undefined. Hmm. Interesting. So what are they looking for us to do here? A should be defined and evaluated to have a value of 6. B should be defined and evaluated to 15. Initialize the three variables, A, B, and C, with 5, 10. Oh, I see. It just means that we're going to initialize them here. So I'm just going to press... Um, so they want, let's see, A to be equal to 5, B to be equal to 10, and C to be equal to uh, the string, which just means, uh, you know, it's a collection of letters. I am a. Uh, and then it just says it will not be undefined. Hmm. Okay, so this is a really weird question. I'm not sure really what you learn here. Uh, let's see. I'd, I would say that, like, say you were going to say... Um, if we were going to console.log uh, one plus hello, which means a integer plus a string, you get that. Oh, interesting. That actually evaluates to something. What if we were to do, um, what if we were, were asked the type of this? It says that this is a string. So what happens if you add one and then the string of hello together? You get a string. Interesting. Well, that's the answer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, there's more to come. I'm not sure how useful that one was from a uh, technical perspective. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.